Hey everybody, it's Warchild. Just want to do a quick tutorial on how I apply grease around uh, seals and gaskets on my Bane Blade. As you can see, you can see uh, a little bit of grease leaking out around the seals. And the way I do this is I use a watered down ink. I'm using a Windsor & Newton ink. You can probably use any ink you have. And I just water it down simply with distilled water and get it to the consistent. Yeah, it's it's pretty much a watery consistency since the ink's pretty watery already. And I put this into the airbrush. Now the airbrush you'll have to be particularly careful with since it's so watery. You have to apply it slowly so you don't get a lot of streaking or pooling. So I sped this up here because it takes a good amount of time to do it right and not get too much ink in at one spot. So you just kind of work it around and let it dry. Use the air from the airbrush to dry it out. Slowly build it up. Uh, don't try and put a lot on it at one time. Uh, it looks better as you do it slowly and add layer on upon layer. Like I said, it'll take a little time, but the end effect comes out pretty nice. As you can see here, this is slowly building up the brown around the uh, uh, gasket or seal on the tank and uh, starts to give it that stained look like the grease has been leaking out over time. Now for the next part, for the actual grease that you put around, directly around the seal, I use a combination of brown, black, and violet. I use the violet because uh, the grease, if you've ever seen oil or grease, it kind of has that iridescent blue or purple sheen to it. And to make it shine, I use a uh, pledge uh, finish, which when it dries, it gives it a nice uh, shiny look like you would have with oil. And this is kind of what it looks like, kind of a blackish, purpley look. And here I sped it up as well because... Uh, Again, you're slowly adding it, building it up over time. And you're just putting this around the edges of the gasket with the seal and using the with the capillary action of the liquid kind of flow around. And I'm using a small brush because you don't want too much going on at the same time because again this is a very watery solution. And if you put too much on it will just flow everywhere. So you just kind of let it flow slowly around and you'll eventually build it up to a nice uh, shiny grease effect. So a combination of the shiny grease directly around the seal with the brown where it looks like it's flowed over time gives a nice overall effect. Hope this helps and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.